Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create photo panels effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful photo panels effect you will learn to create today looks like this. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? It's a useful effect to learn and it comes quite handy in a number of different situations. Let us say you want to make a presentation about five different cities in your tourism based presentation. Then you can use a photo panels effect like this that shows the pictures of the key landmarks in those five different cities. If you want to make a technical presentation, let us say you have an engineering presentation that talks about five different steps of the process. Then you can take pictures of each of the steps and use a photo panels effect like this. Let us say you have a medical presentation. You want to talk about five different stages of labor or five different stages of a surgical procedure. Then you can take photos of each of the stages and you can show a photo panels effect like this. There are so many beautiful ways in which you can use this effect. Once you learn how to create this simple effect, then you can play with the effect in number of ways. For example, you can make all the photos look unified by applying a color transformation like this. If you want to be a bit dramatic, you can apply custom animation to take this effect to a whole new level. For example, I can show something as unified as this and then I can bring each of these photos to life by clicking like this. As you can see here, I have applied a beautiful wipe animation to bring each of these photos to life. And if you want to use a photo panels effect as a section header for your business presentation, you can happily do so. For example, if I were to have five different cities as five different sections in a presentation, then I will use this as my first section divider. As you can see, it very clearly gives a visual cue to the audience that I'm going to talk about the first section. Once I'm done with the first section, I can use a slide like this, which brings the attention of the audience to the second section. I can go to third section, fourth section and fifth section like this. So as you can see, there are so many different ways in which you can use this simple yet highly effective photo panels effect. Let me show you how easy it is to create this photo panels effect from scratch. The first thing you require to create a photo panels effect is obviously five different photos. Once you have the five photos downloaded onto your slides, then we go to the next step. The next step is to create a rectangular bar which has 7.5 height and 2.63 width. The way you do that is you go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up the Rectangles tool and then draw a rectangular bar and then go to Format tab in PowerPoint ribbon and go here. The height will naturally be 7.5 if you are able to have it touch both the top and bottom edges and the width is what you need to input. So here I am going to put 2.63 as the width. Now I have the panel ready. The first thing I'm going to do to use this as a stencil to cut the photos is to select the shape, go to shape fill and use a brighter color like say yellow and then go to shape outline and use a white outline. Then I'm going to right click, go to format shape and I'm going to use a bit of transparency so I can clearly see what is behind uh, this particular bar. Now that we have the bar ready, let me make a copy of this by right clicking, copy and then going to a new slide, I'm going to paste it here. Then I'm going to pick up the photos that I have already collected on a slide. I'm going to take the first photo, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to bring it to the slide which I was working on. I'm going to place it so that it touches the top left corner and then I'm going to click and drag the bottom right corner so that it occupies the full height of the slide. Then I'm going to place it somewhere here. Then I have this beautiful rectangular bar which I'm going to use as a stencil to cut this photo into a strip. So I'm going to right click and bring it to front and I'm going to place it right on top of the photo and I'm going to use this as a way to know which part of the photo I want to pick up. As you can see here, I can move this right on top of the original photo and this gives me the area that I want to take. You can see the transparency that I had applied allows me to clearly position the rectangular bar on top of the photo and the white outline allows me to define where the edges are. Now that this is done, I'm going to select the photo first. I'm going to hold the shift button down while I select the rectangular bar. Then go to the format tab under drawing tools, go to merge shapes 
and use the option called intersect. As soon as I did intersect, you can see that this particular photo is now cut into a strip of the exact dimension of the yellow piece that I had already created. Let me show you how to do this once more so you are able to understand the process. I am going to right click, copy, bring it to a new slide. Then I am going to go back to the earlier slide where I had photos. I am going to copy this or cut this. Then bring it back to the place where we are working. Top left corner alignment. Click and drag the bottom uh, corner so that the height really uh, spans the entire uh, height of this particular slide. Then take the rectangular bar, bring it to front and then move it and position it in such a way that you are able to clearly define the area that you want to pick up. Then select the photo first, hold the shift button, then select the rectangular bar, format, merge shapes and intersect. So now we have the second strip ready. So that is exactly the process you follow to cut the different photos into strips of equal dimensions. Once everything is done, then you decide what is the order in which you want to place these photos depending on the various sections of your presentation or various stages of the process. And I am I'm going to assume that this is going to be the order. I am going to place the last strip so that it touches the right side corner of the slide area. Then I am going to take the first photo and I am going to make it touch the left side, uh, the left corner of the slide area. Then. I am going to select all these photos by pressing Ctrl A, so all of them are selected. Then go to Arrange, Align and say Distribute Horizontally, so there is equal spacing between all these photos. Then go to Arrange, Align and say Align Top. Since I have used the dimension of 2.63 as the width, you can see that there is a nice little space between each of these photos and that gives it a very beautiful effect. Now let me show you what are the different effects you can create here. I'm going to make a duplicate of this so that we have a copy of the original slide. Then I'm going to select all these photos, go to the Format tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to Color and I'm going to choose the second option here called Grayscale and that unifies all the photos. Now let me show you the second thing you can do to liven up each of these photos. I'm going to take a duplicate of the same uh, slide which has the colored version of the photo panels. I'm going to say duplicate slide by right clicking and selecting the duplicate slide option. I'm going to pick up all these photos while holding the shift button down and I'm going to press Ctrl X to cut them and then go to the photo panel which has the unified colors like this. I'm going to press Ctrl V to paste them and I'm going to align them so that they are all one on top of the other. And now I'm going to apply an animation like say a fade effect or wipe effect. Let me apply fade effect so you're able to clearly see the effect one after another. Then I'm going to say start on click and let us reduce the duration to say 0.25 so we don't waste much time in showing you the animation. Then go to the slideshow mode. First you see the unified colored version then on a click, you are able to get the colored photo fade on top of the earlier black and white photo and that livens up each of these photo panels. It's a very beautiful effect to learn. And finally, the section divider effect, all you need to do is if you are going to have the first section talked about, then you leave the first photo, then you select the rest of the photos and then go to format tab in PowerPoint ribbon go to color and choose this option called as gray 25% background color to light which is the bottom uh, row and pick the one on the leftmost corner that will distinguish the first photo from the rest of them. So those are the different ways in which you can use your photo panels effect. If you liked the clarity of my explanation and the creativity of the effects that I have been showcasing all the while in presentation process channel, then you will really love our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. It is a structured way to master PowerPoint. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You can find more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program by clicking on the No More button here. And by the way, I hope you liked the tutorial that I taught you in this video. If you did, then I have a wonderful treat for you. I have put together a beautiful mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. 
If you're a business presenter, like say you are a business owner, a business executive, a trainer or a consultant, then you will find this course extremely useful. You can sign up for this mini training by clicking on the button here. You can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area below this video. So go ahead, click on the button here, sign up for the mini training and take your business presentation slides to a whole new level. I'll see you inside the mini training.